Hello and welcome to Coding for Kids. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use an if statement in Python. Let's get started. So over here, I've opened my idle and it's launched this shell. We're going to be needing more than one line of code. So I'm going to go file, new file to open this editor. I'll move this over here. Now, if statements are very logical ways of making decisions in Python. Decision making is important as it helps tell the code what it needs to do. So first, let's make two variables. We'll call one A and the other B. These are going to be inputs from the user and we want them to be numbers. So like we learned in input and data type videos, we're going to go int input to make it a number input. I'm going to say enter your first number close that we need two brackets because we've opened two here an input normally is a string data type but because we've gone int here it is now a number and so I'm just going to copy this and paste it into here and we'll just change this to go second number right so this is going to ask for two numbers for the user and when we enter those numbers then it's not going to do anything yet. So we want to write an if statement that will compare the numbers. So if statements are logical, just like you could have in normal conversation in English, you can go if A is equal to B, so the two equal sign next to each other means is the same as. So if A is the same as B, then then in an if statement is a colon like that and then we press enter you'll see it's gone tab this is the correct syntax so this means what do we want the code to do if a is the same as b then we want to print the two numbers are the same right now what happens if we want to print uh, that this number is bigger than this number. So if we want to say if a is bigger, if a is bigger than b, then print a is bigger than b. Your first number is bigger than your second number. There's two ways of doing that. We could do another if statement, but this gets complicated and messy very quickly. Or we could use the term elif, which means else if. This kind of means then if it's not that one, check if it is this one. So if we go A is greater than B, remember we always have to have the colon, then we go to print uh, your first number is bigger than your second number. But here I've forgotten my inverted commas, so that will not work unless I've got these in. Now we'll do the same thing but A is smaller than B. So here if A is less than B, print your first number is smaller than your second number. Finish that off. Now this works. At the end of every if statement, you need to put an else. Otherwise, if this doesn't work, the computer will not know what to do. An else doesn't have any variables or determining factors. So you just say if the input is none of these, none of these three, then what do you want it to do? So if it's none of these and the computer doesn't know what to do, it will just print, I do not know. Right, so now we can save this. Save this as if. Then this should work. So we've saved it, now if we run it, we go up the top, run module, and it will come up here. So enter your first number, we'll go eight, your second number, let's do eight to test the first case. The two numbers are the same, so that works. Run this another case, you've got to click on back on the editor and click run again every time. So we want eight and then 12. Your first number is smaller than your second number. That works. We'll run it again. If we go 12, then eight, the first number is bigger than your second number. So this is the syntax for if statements in Python. We want to use if 
and then you use if and then what you're comparing the two things and then it's always followed by a colon. Elif means else if and that's another thing just in case the first one isn't right and then you always put an else at the end just in case the computer gets confused. Thank you for watching this Coding for Kids tutorial. We hope to see you in the next one.